All right. Good afternoon. It's Zach Martinez, your agent here at Simply Vegas. And we're taking a look at the 2124 by KB Homes. So this particular home is located in Saguaro Ranch, which is here in the southwest part of Las Vegas. So as you can see, nice gated community. There's going to be two different uh, phases of this community. So you've got uh, reserves, which is going to be all single story homes. And then you have landings, which is where we're at. Got a bunch of two story models. Uh, they go all the way up to 2,400 square feet. Smallest being right around 1,500 square feet. So sizes vary in this community. Uh, but today we're taking a look at the 2124. So as you can see, we've got a really nice curb appeal. Uh, I believe this one is a four bedroom home, but let's go ahead and take a look here. Real nice. Tall doors, tall ceilings. So we got nine foot ceilings in this home. Let's go ahead and take a peek over here. So this door right here is gonna be a garage. Um, it's locked right now, being used as uh, an office since it is a model home. Here we have our first bathroom. So it's a full bathroom. This is an option, um, which I do believe most people end up choosing considering uh, we have a downstairs bedroom. So this originally would be a den, but since it's optioned as a bedroom, you're gonna get your closet. And then of course you have your full bathroom down here. Okay, so back to the main part of the house, you can see we've got really, really nice open floor plan. Again, those nine foot ceilings really do help open up this home. We got tons of windows. So what time is it? Like three o'clock? You see you're gonna get a lot of afternoon sun here uh, through the back windows. Do a quick pan of this whole downstairs area. So yeah, like I said, really nice open floor plan. Um, you're gonna have a pretty good amount of space considering there is a bedroom down here. Um, so that's gonna take up a pretty big chunk of the uh, downstairs square footage. But I mean, again, you still have a ton of space down here. So let's start in the kitchen. So a lot of the included features you'll see, um, such as these uh, countertops, cabinets, um, they don't have any finishings on them, which is one thing to pay attention to. But I mean, you know, uh, they're pretty good with all their options here at KB. Stainless steel, Whirlpool appliances. Got a nice big island. Uh, sink in the island, which I'm a really big fan of. Dishwasher is also going to be in the island. Uh, but the reason I like the sink in the island is because uh, if you have guests, you're not facing away. I say that every single one of my videos. So you should know by now that uh, one of my favorite features. Here's your refrigerator. Once again, Whirlpool stainless steel. Directly to the right of that, we have our pantry. A little bit on the smaller end. Uh, but the good thing is, directly to the right of that, have your Harry Potter closet. <laughs> what I like to call it, but I mean, this goes back really far and even comes around a little bit. So they utilize the uh, space underneath the uh, staircase for storage, which is really nice. So if that pantry wasn't exactly uh, good enough size for you, you've got that uh, leftover space to use right next to it. So we're gonna take a look at the backyard real quick. One thing to keep in mind, um, in a brand new home, you're not going to uh, see anything um, landscaped, whether it's from dirt or whether you buy a quick move in. Um, they'll do the front landscaping, but the, uh, the uh, backyard is completely up to you uh, to take care of. The HOA is usually going to give you a specific timeline to get that done. So that's something to budget and plan for. Uh, of course, you don't need to do everything that you see back here, like all the trees, bushes, uh, turf pavers it just needs to have a little something because normally you're gonna have a dirt lot so if you do pavers 
across the whole backyard or if you cover it with turf, I mean, that'll do just fine. Of course, that's completely up to your discretion. Let's head upstairs. Okay. Okay. Here we are. Got that Christmas music going. I love that. It's my favorite time of the year. So the primary is going to be to my right. We're going to finish that for the, uh, or I'm sorry, save that for the last. You guys see they've got a speaker up there in the ceiling. Um, that's not an included feature. That's just something that they have in the model homes to play Christmas music. So as you can see, we're here in the loft in a nice walk-in closet. This does have an option to be another bedroom, but um, I think it flows better just being a uh, loft. I mean, it keeps a lot of the space open. You can imagine that if this was closed off, it'd be pretty tight um, squeeze. Um, of course, there's the primary. Had another closet back there, um, but I'll go ahead and check that out in just a moment. Here is the first full bathroom that we've got upstairs. So we got dual sinks, toilet, and then of course we have your tub shower combo with your fiberglass enclosure. So as you can see, we have a uh, just a base quartz countertops, which this would be an included feature. Uh, like I mentioned downstairs, you have uh, tiers for the upgrades. So it's important to refer to the options and upgrades list just to see what's going to be in the uh, exact home that you're looking at if it is a quick move in. Here's bedroom number two. Pretty good size. Uh, standard closet, nothing too crazy. Um, you just have the, uh, the door on the slider there. Nice big window though. Um, big fan of windows anywhere you can put them just to get a bunch of natural light. Of course, the model home is going to look nice because you've got all the lights on. Um, but you can still get a feel for, you know, what rooms are dark, which ones aren't. So here is our third bedroom. As you can see, uh, this one does have a walk-in closet. So this one is a pretty good sized walk-in closet, similar to what we saw in the loft. In the uh, bedroom itself is a pretty similar size uh, to this other bedroom that we had just looked at. So that's gonna be the bathroom that is shared by the two people using those bedrooms. Here is our laundry. So there is an option for washer dryer. Um, Again, that is just something that you'll have to refer to on the upgrade sheet, which I will be sending over um, some of the options and upgrades. So be sure to let me know if you have any questions about that. Here's your smart panel. So Cox, they're the uh, internet TV provider. Uh, they would come out and wire all this for you. You don't have to worry about doing that. Uh, but they'll pre-wire it. And then, of course, this will be shut so it looks nice and neat. I like this um, staging that they have over here. I would never use that, but it's nice nonetheless. Here's your linen closet. Okay, and here we have the primary. So as you can see, really good size master bedroom. Uh, this looks like it's a king-size bed. We've got two uh, nightstands, decent size, not like those small Ikea ones that you see everywhere. Um, and we still have tons of space left over. So if you have a queen, you definitely have a lot more space. But, I mean, can't go wrong with a king-size bed. So here is your walk-in closet. Pretty decent size. I mean, this is easily double the size of what you saw in the other bedrooms. I won't say bedrooms, bedroom, and then the loft. So imagine sticking those two uh, together. That's gonna be roughly about the size that you've got here in the primary. All right. 
do a quick pan real quick. Said that twice. So here's our shower. Right here we've got the standing shower uh, in lieu of your standard shower tub combo with fiberglass. Here we have that same quartz um, backsplash and the same material used on the bench that we see on the uh, countertops here in the bathroom. So you can see, I'll just do a side by side. It's the same. Again, you have the ability to choose that um, if you were to choose all your options and upgrades, but depending on what the spec is, that's probably gonna be different. Double sinks, and then here is your water closet, private water closet. It's got a door, shut that right there if you uh, want some privacy. And right next to it, you got have a pretty generously sized linen closet. I mean, you can probably fit a couple more shelves or whatever you need in there. All right, so this was a pretty quick one. If you have any questions, uh, shoot me a message.